Well, here she is. This is the wheel horse version. We'll call it 3.0. A little bit of stainless and aluminum added so far. Just some rough paint so it doesn't degrade any further. This configuration is going to be running a 40 volt system with 10S, 10P lithium ion batteries. Um, 3D printed the cores and epoxy coated the entire thing in a mold that was 3D printed as well. Came up with a cool idea for a new gear selector because that was long gone. Also thought it would be neat to try out making some shifter knobs. It's a test fitment of the dashboard I've designed with a just a general battery meter and some push buttons. Uh, the other half is yet to be printed till I can figure out a color I'd like to choose for the print. I was never really happy with the seat heights and adjustments, so I decided to uh, give it a little bit of a boost and uh, add some aluminum extrusion to the whole equation. You can already see some of my layer lines are splitting apart here. I printed these in PETG. Um, I believe my fitment was just a little too tight, so you know we've got some minor splitting going on over there too. But we can address that in my next version that I'm going to print with just making a much thicker ridge here where we've added years ago just some steering braces to make that gear not skip. The motor used to sit right about Look, here. You'll notice that that made for a regular, you know, the belt came out like this to the stock motor and under the wheel and around a tensioner, which was just completely unnecessary. The motor that big. Now we've got the motor mounted under the seat. We're using a VESC that I made a little tray for, so she sits down under the seat, but also is protected from the weather. Got one of these little three kilowatt BLDC motors that I catted up a pulley for because they don't make one that goes to a five is five eighths wide V-belt. Uh, experiment with a couple different pulley designs now. It seems like splitting them in two to try to get the print correct in between your V area here without supports uh, made it much more complicated and less reliable. So I went to a single piece with a larger offset, which makes my belt alignment very nice. Thank you. 